Cakewalk by BandLab is a free digital audio workstation available for Windows systems. It features professional tools with multi-track recording and audio editing, MIDI, virtual instruments and plugins, and automation. In this video, we'll be covering how to install and set up Cakewalk by BandLab to get started with music production. Before starting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll see all our new content on home recording. To be able to use Cakewalk by BandLab, we'll need to create a BandLab account which will allow us to authenticate the software later in the video and make sure it's fully accessible. To get the program installing, we go to the Cakewalk by BandLab webpage and scroll down to the download section. There's an option to install the program directly or to install using the BandLab Assistant which provides a few more features. I often install the program directly first and can use the BandLab Assistant after, but I've previously run into issues installing from the BandLab Assistant. If you're trying this as a fresh install on your system, you may have an easier time than me. With the installer downloaded, launch it to start installing the program. Select the install language. Follow the on-screen prompts. At this stage, we get some options for additional software to install with Cakewalk by BandLab. The Studio Instruments is a free VST instrument plugins package that gives us drums, strings, electric piano, and bass guitar instruments to start off with. Drum Replacer helps capture our acoustic drums as trigger points and replace them with samples. Melodyne is a free version of the Autotune software. We can skip the theme editor and demo projects, and I often don't install the free version of Melodyne due to limited features as a demo. With that done, all we have to do now is jump through a bunch of screens with the next button to install all the software. We may have a few additional screens that come up as we're doing this, and that corresponds to extra software like the Studio Instruments and Drum Replacer software. Once it's installed, we can launch Cakewalk by BandLab. We'll start on the new project screen if we're starting for the first time, or the recent project screen if we've previous projects on our system. Once it's launched, we can start a new blank project or use one of the templates. Then go to the edit menu at the top and select preferences. Start on the left with playback and recording under audio and change the driver mode from one of the Windows defaults to ASIO which will allow for low latency recording and playback through an audio interface. If you're not using an audio interface, you can skip this step. Now go to devices. To change the device, unselect all the checkboxes from your device you don't want to use first. This will allow you to select inputs and outputs from a separate device once they're all unselected. Then you can select all the inputs and outputs you want available for your audio interface, and in my case, I selected to use the Focusrite audio interface inputs and outputs. The audio interface I'm using is the Focusrite Scarlett ATI20, and it's an 8 input, 8 output USB audio interface that's perfect for home recording a variety of instruments, and features expandability with the digital optical inputs on the back to use an additional 8 inputs and outputs. To get your own Focusrite audio interface, check out our links in the video description down below. With that done, we can close the preferences and go back to the project. If you run into problems with activation, you'll need to authenticate your Cakewalk by BandLab software through the BandLab website. With Cakewalk launched, you can go to the Help menu at the top and authenticate your software or refresh the authentication. This will take you to the BandLab webpage where you can log in with a BandLab account. Thanks for checking out this video on installing and setting up Cakewalk by BandLab. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.